Hello everyone, I'd like to show you my beautiful 97 Dodge B2500 conversion van, high top, beautiful camper car. Picked this up last year, my wife and I took it out to Yellowstone, towards some other national parks, went out west, had a great time, and have since used it for various camping trips, etc. Now, uh, I'm about to explain something that went seriously wrong with this vehicle and that you should keep a lookout for if you have a similar one. I bought this van off the original owner off Craigslist and I crawled underneath it to look for rust damage but I wasn't super savvy in what exactly to look for. I saw a lot of surface rust on various features but nothing that made me think, oh crap I shouldn't buy this, just something like, well maybe I should seal up that rust and just keep an eye on it in the future but little did I know there was a problem. The problem manifests in the front of the vehicle where a lot of moisture tends to drip down to some really critical suspension pieces on each side. Now, fun fact, after I purchased this, I got it inspected, and it passed inspection after a couple of minor repairs, so it wasn't just my amateur eye that missed a few things. But after taking it back to Yellowstone, I saw what a lot of those rumbly roads rusted, or uh, broke off pieces of the rusted frame, as you can see up here, and it really exposed a lot of the underlying damage. You can actually see this repair that my shop did on uh, the upper, whatever the heck it's called, the upper control arm on the right side of the vehicle, the passenger side, where they fabricated this crappy mount here to help stabilize the top of where the control arm mount came off of the top of this frame. And this is still bad, and they they, uh, they judged this to be unsafe for the road, but I kept using it anyway for about a year after that. You can see that actually this shock down here has rusted off where there's a hole in the bottom and I attempted to weld a, a brace here to keep it intact, but um, after a couple hundred miles that rebroke, I fixed it again and then it rebroke and then I stopped trying. So this rattles on, on bumps as you can probably imagine. You also may notice that we're missing the stabilizing bar, the sway bar on the side that fell off in Yellowstone. Now the scariest thing is on the driver's side. This has a design flaw, I guess, where the steering box, which is this thing up here, um, the steering wheel has a column that comes down into that, is attached to this frame, the frame that rusts a lot. And what you can actually see here is where I attempted to repair the frame with my really shitty welds and then I painted over it to stabilize the frame because that entire frame was flexing when I would turn the wheel and that obviously is bad news. But that held up for several months and a few thousand miles after I fixed that, so I thought maybe I was all good. After returning from a weekend camping trip in northern Michigan, we got home safely and then in my driveway the steering box completely came off of the front frame there. Completely removed. And now this van does not steer at all. At all. I cannot believe that this happened in my driveway instead of on the highway. We would have been completely fucked. This is no longer drivable. I might try to rig something up to make it so I can move it around my property, but this is not safe. This is my parts vehicle, which I purchased uh, for a couple of donor parts, and that I thought might have good suspension donor capabilities as well. This one also has a little bit of rust, but in, in general it's in much better shape. It was an ice cream truck, so it didn't drive in the winters where we get a lot of salt here in Michigan. You can see a lot of this has got the paint delaminated and stuff, but I think a lot of the metal is actually pretty pretty solid, but the problem is I don't have the welding skills to cut the frame forward of that, and really the frame should be cut farther back because both of the control arm points on my other van are uh, are mangled from rust as well, so this would really need a super professional job to fix, and that's a little bit out of my hands at this point. So now I'm left with this custom converted $5,000 high top conversion van that is undrivable, even though it passed an inspection by a reputable mechanic due to hidden rust issues, in the bottom of the frame. So I would warn you not to purchase this type of vehicle if it's been exposed to rust and to just really be weary and keep an eye on your suspension parts because if this happened in the wrong time then it could really screw you over. I thought I could fix anything, but I can't fix that. <laughs> Honestly, there are so many times that this van could have killed me and my whole family but didn't that it's hard not to feel a little bit hashtag blessed. Yellowstone. So much heartache on this van. Fuck it, let's do this, boys. Woo! On the road again.